Sometimes when you're reading a book, you can get so caught up in turning the pages, you get to the end of the book and someone says, well, what was it about? And you sit there and think, oh, well, I read it. And you've got everything in your mind, but it's all, all sort of jumbled. And so I thought, you know, wouldn't it be good to read a book and then put together like a summary of it at the end of it so that later on you could come back to that book and you could get the gist of it because you've read it just by reading the summary. I started uh, writing the book summaries and I would print them up and mail them out and I had about five subscribers here in New Zealand and I thought, wow, this is really cool. And then uh, when the internet first came along, I, I, <laughs> I was there. <laughs> and so uh, I was around when, when websites first started coming along. So, uh, you know, I uh, got a website and uh, set it up and um, it looked like it was going to be enough money and so just took the plunge. My business model is a subscription-based model. And so people uh, subscribe to the service and uh, that's how we generate revenue. We offer different options like you can automatically get new summaries that are sent to you or you can dip into the, the back catalogue and pick and choose whatever you want. To subscribe to book summaries is to like um, have an employee on your team and every week that employee reads a, an entire business book and pulls out the best ideas and gives them to you and you pay that employee two dollars a week. It's just a, a great value proposition. You know, I was merrily uh, operating the business and selling summaries and I'd never really thought about um, licensing or anything and a guy came along and he said to me, hey, uh, we like your summaries, we'd like to uh, sell these in Spanish. And so he came along and uh, he paid a licensing fee to uh, take the summaries and produce a Spanish language version of them. So I thought it was Christmas, I, I thought it was very, very cool. And so since then we, uh, we've now done some other licensing agreements and the summaries are now available and like Korean and uh, Chinese and, and other languages. Uh, we really like the licensing. Uh, in addition to generating revenue for the business, it, it opens up interesting possibilities as well. You do feel better about books that you agree with, but I've found quite often that I'll summarise a book and get to the end of it especially if it's got touchy-feely stuff in it. I get to the end of it and say, Ugh. and then I'll send it out to my subscribers and they'll come back and say, I love the summary, and people have different tastes. And so I can't be too narrow. I can't, I can't just summarise books that I love because that would mean I would be my only customer. And so I, I you know, have books that I don't like as well. Rob is a very successful businessman. He um, is an introvert though. He um, does have his ways and he likes being downstairs on his own, just him and his computer, and communicating in the way that suits him best. When you have a business that, um, that is producing, like, um, like I produce a summary each week, you've always got a deadline that you're working to. And so, uh, you know, having an internet-based business is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a work-hard scheme. And uh, there have been times I've pulled all-nighters to meet the deadline. There have been times that the, I've missed out on doing stuff with the kids. And so, you know, everyone has this idea that if you get an internet business, You've got a laptop and you're sitting by the ocean and you just push a button and money pops out of the internet and it's not like that at all. You, you, you've got to have a business model, you've got to have uh, a value that you offer and you've got to have all the, all the pieces that come together. So it's hard work, I, I kid you not. I'm always amazed that one guy can write a book 
and he can say the key to success is to do this, this, and the other. And then another guy can come along and he can say, that's not the key to success, it's to go in the opposite direction. And you know, the funny thing is both of them are right. You know the old saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat? That's true in business. There's a lot of different ways to get to the one place and there is no universal formula that um, means you're gonna succeed and you, or you're gonna fail. A domain name costs about $30 a year for summaries.com. Hosting costs about $10 a month. And so by spending that, I can compete head to head against companies that have got thousands of employees. I can compete against companies that have got huge advertising budgets. It's a, a level playing field for everyone. And I think that's incredibly empowering for uh, anyone in New Zealand. You know, you can put together a, a digital product and uh, you can go places. I um, think that it would be awesome for more people to do what Rob does. Uh, it's just a, a great lifestyle and we're very happy. If I was giving advice to myself now, um, back when I was first starting, what would I do differently? I guess, uh, you know, I'd tell myself, look, you're on the right track, mate. Keep going, work hard, and you're gonna get there.